How's it everybody? It's Gabe from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance. Welcome back. Thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I put in my small jungle survival kit. Now this is like an EDC slash survival kit, but it's really not a bag or a bug out bag or anything like that. It's just kind of a pouch and what I would have in my pocket or on my belt. Right, basically what I would carry every day going into the jungle. Now I would also have, of course, depending on how long I would be in the jungle or I expect to be in the jungle, I would have a bigger bag or a bug out bag or something like that or for camping, right? But in this video, I just wanted to show you what's in the, the minimum, the small, easy to carry kit. First, I want to talk about clothing. I like light clothing and shorts is really nice. Uh, if you're not used to the jungle, I would say pants. I have just some reef shoes on, but you can have snake boots, swamp boots, waterproof boots. Uh, it's just kind of what you prefer and what you're comfortable with. I suggest snake boots if you're new to the jungle and you've never been to the jungle you want to be really careful but people wear sandals or flip-flops or whatever so it's kind of your experience level and and what kind of jungle it is that really depends on your clothing now you could have a, a mosquito net that would go over your head or some bug spray but for me i can find in the jungle the, the the problem solver is for too much bugs let's just put it that way I can find a plant that will help me or I can start a fire I can do these things that a local uh, wouldn't be as irritated by bugs or heat in the jungle now hat it's really nice to shade yourself from the Sun to keep the sweat out of your eyes and to keep your eyes protected from branches can't tell you how many times the bill of a hat has saved my eyes. Now, sunglasses aren't required, but it is kind of nice to be able to have some kind of protection uh, for your eyes. Now, a good smog. This is good for filtering water with debris. Uh, you can use it as a bandage. You can use a headband, a towel, uh, a sling for your arm. There's a ton of uses for this simple 42 inch by 42 inch cotton smog. Now I have a water container right here that I made a basket for real quick and I can boil water in it and I can store water in it and I can carry water and I can use this as a fish trap which is really nice. So I just whip that up out of a coconut frond. Now what's in my pocket? Cell phone or GPS doesn't get the best reception in the jungle because of the canopy and of course remote locations. So don't rely on them. I would definitely have a good compass and keep the compass on you at all times. This is one of the most important items in a survival kit, in any survival kit. And then I would have a good flashlight that has some kind of bright reflective because the jungle, if you lose something, most likely you won't find it again unless it has some kind of bright thing and the flashlights I like always come in black. Uh, I guess I could get this in another color but I can't get it in orange which I would prefer for a survival flashlight. And different modes on a flashlight I think is key because you can save the battery uh, with a dimmer mode than using the, the full bright mode. And then of course a flashlight or a, excuse me a lighter with some duct tape wrapped around it. This is extremely useful. You can use this to for your bandages to you know all sorts of stuff with duct tape. You guys know this is one of the most useful items besides a, uh, a zip tie that uh, you know man has created. So duct tape with a lighter and let's see, on my belt, 
I would have a sharpening system that would consist of a leather strop with some stropping compound, just a piece of belt basically, which I have a belt on, but it's kind of nice to have a separate sharpening piece of leather. And then I have a Folkneven DC4. This is a good diamond stone, ceramic diamond stone right there. And then I have, of course, a Leatherman. This is my Leatherman core. Extremely useful. I can use this to make traps. It's another blade. It's got tons of tools in it. Very useful. Even in the jungle, a multi-tool is useful. And then a good, solid belt knife. This is a Laraka ST5. It's a five inch, pretty beefy blade with a bow drill divot in the handle. So a good belt knife is really nice. Now a consistent theme with any kit for the jungle, right, is you don't want it to fall off or you don't want to lose it. So it's got to be very secure and rugged. The jungle is very rough and it's damp and there's all sorts of things trying to get you. So you don't want to have a flimsy setup. You want to have very secure and it won't fall off and very simple. This is a custom kydex sheath I made from my Bark River Grasso Bolo. This is basically the main thing of the kit. This is a good bolo right here. Strong blade, tough. I made a custom kydex sheath for it and you can see that I have a SE Junglist backing on it, so there's one, two, three, four points of locking on this sheath. So the knife is very secure. The lanyard, I don't like the connected lanyard because a twig could, or a stick or something could grab it and pull your knife out. I like the adjustable lanyards. And then I have some paracord wrapped in here. Then I have a carabiner right here. I could use this for traps. I can use this for hanging a tarp. All sorts of different things I can use a carabiner for. And then I have a survivor water filter on the outside with some ranger bands connecting it. And ranger bands are very useful. I can light fires with them. I can make a spear gun. I can make a sling with the ranger band. And then I have some more paracord right here. And so that's the outside of the kit with the sling, easy to carry, fairly light and not bulky. Uh, you know, it's kind of bulky, but not overly bulky and it's really not that heavy. Now stay tuned to see what's inside. Personal note on the jungle. One of the harshest places I've ever lived in the world. I've lived in the desert, the jungle, the mountains, snow, heat and the jungle is really uh, everything's trying to kill you everything's trying to get you eat you alive but also it provides the best plants to survive the best food the best shelters you can make your clothing you can make your backpacks it's just abundant when it is of course there is not really a season in most jungles but there is right it's not necessarily a heat thing, it's just always hot. But either the season is more rainy or less rainy. But that doesn't mean that it will be completely abundant with food. So you just gotta know the jungle that you're going to and you're gonna be in. One more thing about the clothing. Yes, a good rain jacket, a high quality rain jacket is nice for the jungle. It does rain a lot but they usually get really hot and that dehydrates you. But I would suggest a good quality rain jacket. Now, the trash bag can be made into a rain jacket, but it doesn't replace a good quality rain jacket. And I like North Face. Um, this works really well. Okay, so again, it's the survivor filter and paracord, some ranger bands, and the carabiner. And then inside, I have a trash bag that 
kind of acts as a waterproofing to the whole tin. And a trash bag is very useful. You can use this for all sorts of different things. Okay, it's packed in there pretty tight. And then I have it covered in just a Ziploc bag, very useful. You can use that as a water container. Then I have a ranger band around it like that. And then I have some, uh, let's see, let's start with bandages, some uh, painkiller, some Motrin, a striker, and a ferro rod, some salt, which is very useful, some tablets for uh, water purification. I have this kit that's a sewing kit. It's got some safety pins, some matches, some fishing hooks, some fishing line. That's very useful. I got some tinder, some cotton soaked in Vaseline. Then I've got a lighter with some duct tape. And then I've got a piece of chewing gum. This is extremely useful. Out of all these things, chewing gum and a knife. <laughs> I, uh, you could do with a lot of other, without a lot of things, but I really like chewing gum in conditions that are not favorable or harsh conditions. Chewing gum is in every survival kit that I have. Very useful. It's a morale booster. It can help with dry mouth. It can help with dehydration. It's just very useful. Chewing gum, it can help for stomach aches, if you get the mint kind. And then I have some wound seal and some butterfly closures. Not much, but it's better than nothing. And then I have a uh, inner sea. And this is for the water prefer excuse me, for the water purification tablets. It tastes like junk, right? So this helps it taste better and it's a morale booster, right? So all these things, it's very small and very compact. You can see that it's just this little, little pile right here, but it can do a lot and with the right knowledge, it can save your life. Okay, there you have it. It's my small EDC survival kit. Like I said, it's just the basics, what you wouldn't want to not have in the jungle. You want to have all these things in the jungle. It's very useful. Each one of these things has multiple uses and is almost a necessity when you're in the jungle. So this, this is just a survival kit. Yes, I could maybe make it permanent. It depends on how much knowledge you have. And that's really the most important thing is how much knowledge you have and how much skills you have. And if you know the jungle or if you don't know the jungle, you better do your research before you think you're gonna be in an adverse situation in the jungle. So knowledge is the best survival kit. But this is just a basic small jungle survival kit that can be used uh, to last a couple days or depending on your knowledge could be more permanent um, kind of like Swiss Family Robinson right <laughs> I hope you like this video comment I'm here for any questions please hit that red subscribe button and stay tuned for some more videos I'm in beautiful Hawaii until next time Aloha